Alright guys, here's my backyard aquaponics system that I'm working on. Um, this is the idea I had using the, the wood plank. I saw someone do this wood plank idea. Um, a little bit you know, a little bit different than I'm doing now. Uh, for herbs, but I thought it, was, it was, was useless because there's no way to retain the water. Um, so they're just going to dry out. You'd have to water them a ton. So what I did is I decided to try to make an aquaponics system out of the same, same idea. I just used little pebbles. Uh, there's my first tomato I put in. Now I've never done this before and I'm a horrible gardener. This is my uh, patio garden as of right now and you can tell it's it's early summer here in Texas and uh, there should be a lot more uh, production out of this. I've yet to get one squash. No, I've yet not even had any squash, any zucchini. Um, I've gotten one bell pepper, which I know that's way too crowded and there's not enough dirt. I know everything I did wrong. Four strawberries. Uh, four strawberries. Yep. Quite impressive. We have got some hatch, some hatch peppers. Um, actually, our strawberries were eaten by the ducks, but the ducks are eaten now, so it's okay. Um, but we've had four hatch peppers. We did have some harvest on the um, <laughs> on the uh, lettuce, but I'm just going to turn that back down and put something else there. This is our uh, our uh, herbs. You see, we lost a lot of them. I think again, it's just the moisture. We weren't watering enough. And uh, we may not be getting enough uh, enough sunlight here. We only get morning and and uh, early afternoon sun. But um, I'm still trying it. So I uh, love some suggestions. I'm going to show you in just a second how I'm um, transplanting these plants. I'm sure I'm doing it totally wrong. I hope someone will tell me that. And, t and uh, hopefully they'll not only tell me I'm doing it wrong, but tell me the right way to do it. But here's my system. Um, I used a lot of parts I had, so this isn't optimal at all. It's just running on a battery. It's going to be a continuous flow for now. I plan to at least put either a, a, a small solar panel to hopefully keep this battery charged up. And I also have a couple of batteries. Um, I'm, not go, I'm not fishing right now, so I'm not using the trolling motor. So I'm just going to charge and alternate the charging the batteries. Um, so it's just using a, a sub pump from a, a bilge pump actually from the, uh, from the boat that I took off of it. Then a water hose. You see a couple of different features here. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn it on for you. So it's on now. Um, my phone actually, which I'm recording this on, just got splashed, so hopefully that's not a problem. But uh, you see there, I was restricted the flow down, so then it drips through, and drips and drips and drips, and then goes back down. So right now it's, it's not a, an aquaponics yet because it's not a aquarium it's I, I guess to be a hydroponics as of right now um, hopefully I'll put some small fish I'll probably just put um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm put I might put some goldfish or koi fish um, in there um, or I might put a uh, I might just do some native fish do some um, sunfish or you know like bluegill or something like that but my wife's gonna help me out and uh, go ahead and turn this off my wife's gonna help me out and hold the camera and stop spraying my son and um, show you how how I've done it. So that keep going okay. This is how I'm transplanting plants. Like I said, I'm sure this is totally wrong. Uh, everything about this seems like it would cause horrible shock to the plants. But I don't have a whole lot of dust in the plants, so I'm going to try it. And um, I'll learn a lot from failing, I'm sure. I'm going to use Super Thrive, which I believe is actually um, liquid seaweed. That's the other thing everyone tells me to use. It's what I found around here. Um, it's super thrive. It's like 12 bucks for this little bottle, but it um, it does a ton. And uh, little boy. So this I just bought these at Walmart. And I'm just gonna get all the dirt off them. I use the water and. Um, I use the water that I got from this to water my plants, so that because this is really nutritious dirt right here. Now the tomato variety I'm using is a patio tomato. It's not supposed to grow as big. It's supposed to be allowed. Uh, supposed to be able to use in a small pot. I'm sure my pot's way too small, but like I said, this is all exper experimenting. And if anyone knows. Anybody that does this better or has a similar idea, uh, any help would be great. So I'm just trying to remove as much of the soil as possible. 
because I don't want it to clog up my, my water pump. I'm also trying to be gentle and not tear the roots if I can. Um, the Super Thrive is designed to prevent the shock on the roots. So I'll just use this to water. Don't get it on the leaves. So I'm just using that to water the others with, and that extra soil is going to be great for them. I've already watered all my plants. So Except the herbs. All the herbs are good. Now once I've got 90% you know, of the dirt out, it's not going to be able to get it all out anyway. What I'm then going to do Take one of my pots. In the bottom, I have some cheesecloth so these small pebbles won't go through. Um, there's better, uh, uh, better medium, that low weight, low weight, I don't know, grow bed medium. It's really expensive though, I think. Um, this, these pebbles were really cheap, like four bucks for 50 or like 50 pounds of them. So I'm just as gently as possible. Spread the roots out in the bottom there. Try to get the roots to spread out. I'm putting it down. So there it is. So there's two planted. Um, I'm gonna go herbs the rest. So this is kind of gonna be my uh, my to hopefully my uh, tomato sauce here. So I'll have my tomatoes. I can turn into herbs. Uh, excuse me, tomatoes. I can I can turn into sauce, and then I'll have my herbs all the way up. So hopefully this will be my uh, my tomato sauce in a couple of weeks. Thanks a lot, guys. And hey, I'm sure I did all this wrong. Uh, I hope I didn't do it too terribly. But uh, if any of y'all have any tips or know anybody that's an expert or actually anybody that knows anything at all, because they'll be better, they'll know more than I. So uh, please send them my way. I love to learn uh, learn more about this, and I love this to be a success. Thanks a lot.